The federal government dock secure about 1.1 billion US dollars for the work of their new agricultural scheme, what we they call the Green Imperative Program (GIP). The Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Sabo Nanono, when we say they inaugurate one 18 man steering committee to drive the program inside Abuja, uh, he said the initiative could be completely private sector driven. Our talk talk person, Amadi Uye, he gets. The program, which is estimated at about $1.1 billion, almost $400 billion naira, is to be funded by the Brazilian government through a loan from the Dutch Bank, Development Bank of Brazil, and the Islamic Development Bank. It is also expected to ensure training of project beneficiaries for about 10 years and establishment of about 780 service centers to assist smallholder farmers prepare the soil, cultivate, and harvest farm produce. The loan is expected to be paid at 3% interest rates over a period of 15 years for the Development Bank of Brazil and seven years, including two years moratorium for the Dutch Bank. It will also enable Nigeria to acquire 10,000 units of tractors and 50,000 units of assorted implements and equipment for assembly in the country. We are guaranteeing and we are creating the space. That is our major role. But the drivers will see the public sector. The Minister of Agriculture warned that with the rising population of the country, mechanized agriculture across all the local government areas has become extremely important. This country, yes, today we are talking of 200 million people. They are saying in the next three decades we are likely to hit 400 million people. Well, you can imagine that we need to feed these people. And uh, when you are talking of Nigeria, you don't talk of Nigeria alone. It also incorporates the West African sub-region that the project will be a landmark achievement to drive the agricultural sector of Nigeria to the next level. Under this arrangement, the Brazil government is committed to funding the project with a loan of $1.1 billion in kind from the three banks, namely Deutsche Bank, BNDS, which is the Development Bank of Brazil, and Islamic Development Bank, at 3% concessionary interest rate. Already the first trench of $150 million has been deposited with the Central Bank of Nigeria for the takeoff of the project, which has a lifespan of 10 years. Amadin Uyi, Plus TV Africa.